so grateful that I would treat Farhat Musawi with the respect that I would treat a father. Because gratitude, the metaphysics of gratitude is enormous. When someone does a favor for you like he has done for myself and many others, he becomes like a father. Because the question you would ask yourself is, were it not so, were it not a fact that he had this kind of impact and impression upon your being, what would be your circumstance and your condition? And it frightens me to think what it may have been like if I did not come to know Syed Farhat Musawi and those associated with him in doing this work, this dawah, making this knowledge available to a nondescript like myself and many others who would have come after. I am so grateful for it. That's why to do something like this is so easy. It's an honor for me. I would like to detail way more in this conversation, but it would take days. The politics, the, the social discourse, the inner journey, in, the spirituality, the reclamation of indigenous identity, the understanding of Ahl al-Bayt as empirical universal personalities that are timeless, the healing of the soul and the mind from the trauma of colonialism and slavery before it, and the navigating of the world in present time is only and was only achieved because of the technology of Islam as espoused and channeled through the personalities of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. If I were given mountains of gold, diamonds and precious metal, there is no way that they can measure in value to the value of the knowledge, hikmah, marifa, ilm, a clock, a dab that I have earned and learned from traversing this path. Imam Ali wasalam, says, every calamity that comes upon a believer is beneficial, is good for him, except the calamity of Jahannam. And there were many calamities in my life, but they have only made me better. They have broken me, but I have healed and healed better and stronger because of the technology of Shiism and the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be praised and glorified forever.